Hello friends and welcome back for our second episode of the Tower of the Black Pearl for Dungeon Crawl Classics which is the third little story in our Farg saga or Farga as we coined in the uh, the last episode. I hope you've been really enjoying the uh, adventure as we are. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and all that stuff and come talk to us on Discord. The link will be down below. We're an open community and we really enjoy just kind of chatting about all this sort of stuff. So without further ado, I guess we should get on with the game and bring on our cast. So the Devious Dungeons, Foreboding Forests and the Coolest Cats. My name is Phil and welcome back to The Dark Orb. And here we go. Welcome back, everyone. Judge Zach, great to see you. Also, Erin, and of course, Phil. Now, the first Wait, thing we have we to animate to... Phil first, ready? Wah! There we go. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> first thing we need to do is uh, check that uh, death toll in the top left hand corner, which strangely hasn't changed yet. But let's concentrate and see if we can work out what it is. Phil, 10. I'm sure that's going to change any moment. Without further ado, let's dive straight back in. I'm going to grab up that ball of role-playing game and throw it over to Zach so he can catch it from the Ugh. wrong side. <laughs> Always from the wrong side. <laughs> no, no, I was giving it a header. Oh, okay. It looked yeah, like you just been yeah. you know, hit in the head from the wrong side. Right, it was right top corner of the goal or something. You know, sports ball. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't do this thing of which you are speaking. Yeah, it was amazing. We'll we'll check we'll check back on the uh, on the on the VAR scores. later. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so so yeah, check it out. You guys uh, all headed out into uh, the tower towards the Tower of the Black Pearl, which is the uh, you know, as the name would suggest, is a tower with a black pearl in it that you are chasing because a uh, extremely dangerous uh, interplanar being does not like some of your party <laughs> and has insisted that uh, you go and retrieve the black pearl for them uh, whilst they uh, smoke squirrel bongs. Um, so <laughs> the the uh, you, you you climbed into the top of the tower, you checked out a whole heap of um, a whole heap of candles and you don't know it yet, but you uh, you revived Farg, thus completing the circle that is the Farg saga. Congratulations, but there's still more to do because you need to actually survive uh, in order to be able to survive, embrace with your fog once <laughs> once more. Um, so having having passed through the candles, you've walked down some stairs and you've gone kuchi kuchi ku to a statue which came to life and grabbed. Who was it? Groovex was it? Uh, no, um, it was Mark. Yeah, Mark, Mark grabbed grabs Mark by the throat, and you all need to roll initiative. Oh. Oh no! Keith, the uh, level zero is still here as well for our audience participation. Level zero, he, uh, he you know, when the when the statue came out, he goes, "Oh, Wick!" <laughs> for anyone who's joining us live, um, who wasn't here earlier, yeah, just type into the comments with asterisk either side if you want to narrate uh, Keith Bruce, our NPC as they do something exciting. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'm sorry you, you missed out. You need to catch us on Twitch in order to take part. <laughs> but there's always also, details in the Discord. Also, Caboose currently has 17 points of luck, so feel free to spend some yeah, of that yeah. if you'd like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's a very lucky boy. Mm -hmm. Lucky to be a part of this. Right now, uh, Taco Phil. Non-natural 20. 20. And Aaron? Eight. And Phil? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. So we are going to have Dark Orb Phil, Whoop. then the statues, then Phil, and then Aaron. Take it away, Dark Orb Phil. Uh, so Mark is going to go and try and hit this thing with the club. Mm hmm. Um, if she's able to, I mean, obviously she's being choked. Maybe that's not possible. Um, no, but... no, you can flail. Okay, she is flailing with uh, an eighteen. An eighteen does hit. Whoop whoop for 
1d4. Oh, yeah. I forgot there's a deed. So, um, she's going to try and hit it on the elbow with mm -hmm. the hope of cracking the, the elbow and, and, and getting released. Okay, Rolls sure. two on the deed. So, um, that's 20 with the deed, but obviously not a deed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so damage is a d4. That is actually six points. Okay. Okay, so she goes to crack on the on the arm and um the uh the 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 club clearly makes connection. You 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 hear the sound, um it, it sort of echoes through the small space that you're in. Um and but but the the arm continues to hold and mm -hmm. um and as you're able to sort of like move your head around to be able to look because you're like it didn't flinch, nothing happened, right? Basically, yeah. and you look around and and yeah, there's no, there's no damage there. It's almost like it's like it's like the damage, like has been reduced in some way. I've got some wonderful news for you, Zach. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'll tell you what this is. So, <laughs> I've I've just rolled for for uh, Yale's action. Yale is uh, uh -huh. a warrior with a battle axe, uh -huh. and she has taken up her battle axe. To swing it down on that very same elbow, mm -hmm. uh, she rolled a three on her, with a, with a plan of cutting the arm off, basically at the elbow. Yep. Rolled a three on her deed and a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, so it's the wrong elbow. It's I do not have elbow. the uh, fumble tables in front of me. Okay, cool. Do you, you know but, what your fumble die is, there, right? Uh, it is somewhere. It's based on your armor. So what type okay, of armor are you I wearing? I am wearing no armor by the look of it. You're unarmored, so it's a D4. Cool. And you take away your current luck modifier uh, as well. Which is a minus one. Mm -hmm. That's a four. But with... with... So it's a minus one. To take away minus one, so that makes it a five. Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, you you overbalance. You you hit the um, you hit the uh, the the thing in the elbow, but it's with the um, the, the flat of the blade. The stalk. I can't. The <laughs> okay, handle. I'm, I'm too right. Close. The, the stalk. You're too close. <laughs> the start. I can't. My words are escaping me here. <laughs> you, stalk will you, do. <laughs> <laughs> you effectively like punch it in the arm and you're like ah and then you and then you you stumble back and you fall back onto your back so you trip and you fall you waste this action and you're prone and must use an action to stand next round okay um and Groovex laughing quite wholeheartedly um probably uses the bow tries to hit tries to aim for the head or something. Um, <clears throat> rolls, a D, uh, rolls a 16 to hit. 16 Aiming hits. The face. Uh, that's a long bow. That's a D3, so it's not going to work. D6. One point of damage. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, like, in, in, in a quicker way, I will describe that that gets reduced. Yeah. yeah, so no, <laughs> yeah. It kind of just sort of pings off the armor or something uh in whatever okay, is the it. most thematic way to describe damage reduction that's what happens yeah excellent crack on yeah uh cool so that's all your characters then all right so the uh the, the the one that um is holding you um by the by the throat is um going to I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to uh, use their action to start dragging you towards the um, the gap the uh, that, are, that are down the stairs. Um, so we're going to make some. You you make a uh, you make a strength check, and I'm going to make a strength check, and whoever's higher in the strength checks wins, and it will not okay. be me. Because I rolled a one. Well, I so rolled a 17. 
<laughs> so so the uh yeah this this um this noble knight uh go turns its hand and um sort of its fingers just go over the cross of the front of your neck it's still holding that shape but it's and then it starts walking towards the uh <laughs> towards the gap as if it as if it's still holding you but that's its whole turn um then from uh behind uh i assume that well who's who's the back i think i think we said um, Brody was towards the back, yeah, right? Because yeah. he's the human, uh, yeah. Uh, Brody's cleric. He's human, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the vision isn't great. So he would have been at the back. He's going to yeah. take. Uh, that is nine against your AC. Oof! Just a second. Brody's AC is thirteen. Cool, and that is a fifteen against your AC. So the two panthers Ooh. come up behind you and start. You know, no. yeah, they're like, and they start, you know, going around the, you know, just start clawing. One of them starts claw, like, you know, making making biscuits behind your back, and the other one like <laughs> off its back and starts attacking you. Um, and so it's going to get to do to you uh, one point of damage um, to to your back. Um, in the front, uh, we would have had some of the dwarves. So I think Barbo is a dwarf, yeah? yeah. Uh, no, cool. Barbo's a half-elf, but he is at the front still. So it's Barbo okay. and Yark for my team. Okay, so we're going to have Barbo take... Uh, that's 19 against their AC. It's only and, 12, so that's a hit. And, it, and that's another one damage from the, uh, by the barbarian that has uh, gone out of their... Um, alcove and start and walked past the uh the knight as they make their way towards the towards the gap and sort of like <laughs> looks at them and then goes at uh at barbo takes the extra damage so uh now it's going to be phil's turn yes yeah, so um brody was going to try to get him hit by the leopards he was going to try and call on his god with his uh he's got um i don't if you remember he's got a mace with mm -hmm. the symbol of Ildevere on the top of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he's going to call on his god to um, uh, uh, turn unholy, because as far mm -hmm. as he's concerned, these statues are clearly evil. Yep. Uh, because they're not, they're not living. So we're going mm -hmm. to turn unholy. So that's a D20 check plus one for me, which is a 18, which means that it would turn anything that's... Um, crikey, it'll go all the way up to two hit die. Okay. If they're unholy, that is. Yeah, so these things these things don't even have hit die, so they're they're less than one hit die. So yeah, yeah. Um what are you uh what what's okay, what so are you doing? What is that what am I doing? Um so it's D four damage plus the cleric's level. Um for those within thirty feet, which is pretty much all of them, I think. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm So uh D four so that's a four and then plus my level which is one so that's five points of damage to anything that is classed as unholy around me mm -hmm. okay. i mean um and they do get us they get a check if they want to they've got um they can do a uh let's have a look they can do a will check against a will save so against my roll so whatever i rolled so i rolled an 18 so they've got to roll 18 or above to avoid getting that if that's the case they that that one didn't that one rolled 20 so the night the night passed and both the panthers passed okay oh so the barbarian um, Five points of damage if it's uh, affected by my holy spell. Okay, so the yeah, so the damage, um, yeah, it's, there's it, there's a, a bright flash um, that's in front of it that um, sort of appears to come out of nowhere, and um, the floorboards, uh, the you know the 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 um, stairs below it, and the uh, the flagstones in the in the side of the wall, they're all like bleached from this light. Um, and you sort of turn your head because you can't really look, look directly at the light. Um, but when you turn back, the barbarian is sitting there um, undamaged. 
and uh, the other bit is that the one that was damaged is meant to flee for so many d10 minutes cool flee from you yeah all right cool cool um so so yeah as i say there's no none of them took damage even the one that was supposed oh, to take damage no. didn't take damage um yeah yeah so uh he's meant to run away from me for that many times he <laughs> can he, he, that 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 will that will happen so during its turn it will run away that 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 part has been affected. okay in that case it is yeah. it runs away for oh, one <laughs> this is 3d tens uh <laughs> 10 so that's 11 and a six so uh 17 17 what minutes so Fine, it, yeah it runs away from me for yeah <laughs> the rest of this fight then yeah 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 so it keeps trying yeah. to run away okay cool Aaron. having seen how unsuccessfully um my party members have, have um failed to uh hit these uh animated um statues um So it's a toss so, up between run away or run run jump over the uh jump over the gap in the floor and run away or turn around and and, and join them fight. Just to be clear, no yep. one yet has has actually missed any of them. Mm. It's mm -hmm. just whenever they've done anything, yeah, it yeah. Hasn't, it so has not, like, they've there's been no damage. These things and mm. they just seem to there's nothing's happening mm -hmm. to them yeah and i think um, up until now you've seen six up to six damage be reduced each mm -hmm. yeah so that's that's been the max thus far so gem sort of goes well i think we're, we're gonna have to uh roll out some magic here um with that she pulls out her blue wand and um attempts to use force manipulation to slam back um which one is is the warrior engaged in trying to drop somebody down the hole is that right well yeah it the, thinks it is at least it yeah it so, is. So, so, it's, so it's over near the hole but it hasn't both actually the barbarian yeah both the mm. barbarian and the knight are both near that hole because because i said earlier they sort of crossed yeah. paths and now yeah. the barbarian's running from the cleric so yeah so gem whips out her blue wand and uh, attempts to use force manipulation to push um, mm -hmm. whichever one of those two is nearest into that hole. Sure. Uh, closest is probably the knight. Okay. She's going to attempt to to do it with the knight then. Well, do it with the knight, but you know what I mean. Okay. Bom, tickle, wah, wah. Are we going to go forward two spaces and one to the left or? <laughs> Uh, that's uh, 18, Nine. 19, yes. 20, 21, <laughs> 22. Oh, 22, yeah. Manipulation. Oh, that's on the, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's the one thing I don't have a spell thingy for. Pretty sure that that, um, that one does a very specific, like it's not oh, necessarily. Oh, no, you're the... right, actually, it does. It does a very specific, it says, uh, effect uh, a tower shield sized wall of force at a point within 25 feet exists yeah. for 2D rounds and grants a plus four AC bonus to adjacent characters. Wall cannot move from where it is called into yeah, existence, but next. remains in existence if caster moves out of range. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. so she thinks she's casting it to push him in the hole. However, mm -hmm. she casts it and it's it just casts a barrier between uh, the party and the knight being nearest the hole well there you go <laughs> <laughs> so we've now got we've now got a knight that's running away no no a knight that's got marg around the throat mm. a barbarian that's run away behind the wall and two leopards this side of the wall, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Mm. So that was Gem. This is going so well. Sammy so we, goes. One of, our, one of our escape uh, routes. Yeah. Sammy <laughs> looks confused at Gem going, 
what? And um, mm -hmm. uh, attempts to uh, uh, attempts to cast magic missile at the um, at the the leopards. <laughs> okay, sure. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're making a lot of mess of this. I love 15? it. Fifteen. Fifteen mm -hmm. magic missile. There we go. Fifteen. Uh, caster throws a single missile that does damage equal to one d4 plus caster level. Sure. That's a d4. <laughs> four. four. I, I got a feeling um, Zach doesn't care what it is. <laughs> you can yeah. Uh, yeah. It may be blocked by a magic shield. <laughs> um, yeah, so it does, um, what did we say, four points of damage. Yeah, you know the the, the missile yeah. hits the leopard and, and sort of futs and sputters and then just yeah that's basically what happens yeah okay Zeb finally well, you've, you've... just goes ah fuck this and then just runs straight in wielding um <sighs> no doesn't yeah. run straight in sorry. He um, stands to, he's because he's got a short bow, stands to one side and then fires. Ah, fuck it, fires into melee. All right. <sighs> yeah, F fires, fires into uh, whichever one's engaged with one of the other characters. Well, if it's the leopards, then it's, uh, it's Brody. Brody, yeah. <laughs> Both of the leopards, yeah. Five? I've got a five. Oh, well, you you can burn some luck. <laughs> but that ain't hidden if you don't. <laughs> uh, well, he's got of, uh, 13. Bruce's luck. Yeah. Can, can we burn some Bruce luck? Chat, chat can burn some Bruce, Bruce luck if you want, but uh, you, you'll have to wait for that and see how that goes. Um, okay. How, um, oh, okay. So, what if I burn three points of luck? Will that hit? No. Yeah, I don't really want to take his luck down much further than that at this point. Uh, yeah, no, fine. Fuck it. He 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 fails. Okay. It, it's a five. So we, yeah. There is. I, I, th I can't remember the percentage. I think it's. I think it might just be a fifty-fifty whether you hit I someone. Think it's a 50 /50. I can't remember. Yeah, I can never remember the rules for firing into yeah, melee. Yeah, we normally do it 50 50 to be honest, just because it's easier. Find your uh, 73. Find your 73. Um, you're rolling oh. under to do that, aren't you? So, probably. So, it's going to hit someone. It's going to hit Ooh. someone. That's it. Who's it hit? Uh, you're aiming hit. at the leopards. I was aiming at the leopards. It's going to be Brody. It is, it okay. is 50 percent. Yep, so make okay, another attack uh, against short Brody. Bow. Short bow does one d6 damage. No, no, you make another attack against him. He does yeah, not just yeah, automatic yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. another attack. Oh, he does quite well that time. It's a 14. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's a hit. Yeah, <laughs> we'll re roll the damage. <laughs> Bruce wants Two. to keep his luck for horse manipulation. <laughs> Thanks to Bruce. <laughs> Uh, Brody's uh, just been hit for two points of damage by uh, Zeb in his panic to try and uh, pick off the uh, the leopard that's attacking. I was convinced you were about to say by Zeb in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Has he, all right, cool. So have you got any other... No, uh, just those three. Aaron? Okay, so we're back to the top of the order with uh, Dark Orb Phil. Um... So we're all still trying to free Marg from her unlawful imprisonment. Uh, so, no. But, yeah, the you remember the the knight turned and didn't have Marg by the throat anymore. They were walking. Oh, I misunderstood what happened there. I thought he just had yeah. failed to to get her to move as opposed to as, as let go. Correct, um, but he kept on moving. Yeah, ah, he failed okay. to get her to move, and he kept moving. <laughs> okay, in which case, can she try and do some form of? Charging at him from behind to try and push him over the edge of a what's it? Oh, uh, um, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. Um, what do you, what are you actually, what is, what is the the effect that you want? Uh, she, um, I mean, my understanding from looking at the, on, let me just double check this in case I've misinterpreted it. Um, 
So my interpretation of this is that there mm -hmm. is some kind of fall either to the side or you know between some of the some of the um, like kind of steps or you know flooring has kind of fallen away. Yep. So she's wanting to basically try and push it down. Yeah. So you can see this is maybe a this is maybe an easier understanding of what's going on here. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. So it's like so, a spiral so, staircase around the outside. Yeah. And of course. So yeah, yeah, you can go down in the middle. Yeah. So, yeah, that's exactly what she's going for. So maybe she wants cool. to kind of try and squeeze herself. This will be a, an interesting way to put it, I suppose. She's going to try and do a snookery type move, where she's going to aim for charging between the wall and the yeah um th bloke. I can't think of the right word for some reason. Cool. Um, and then Not kind of just barbarian. shove it off to towards its sort of right gloomy and this is and this is a um this is part of a warrior like um mighty, mighty arms, yeah? yeah 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 okay absolutely. cool cool let's let's add in let me let me let me add a little bit of spice to your uh attack there oh, yeah, why don't I you like why spice. don't you do all this pushing and shoving with your axe so you can do an attack with the axe and then also potentially get the fall damage if the uh mighty deed hits this is a dwarf let's still get mighty deed right yeah. yeah, you still get my idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so she's got a club, so she'll do that. Cool. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, maybe kind of holding the club like that, so she can kind of yeah push it, push over. Um, so rolling like that it. is a strength. Uh, so it's a nineteen, and I got a three. All right. Indeed. Yeah, nice one. Cool, cool. All right, so everything happens. You do damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, one d four of damage. Yeah, yeah. It's a one plus the three. It's a four. Okay, <laughs> I can cool. Count. <laughs> and then I tell you what. See, good. I'll, I'll give you the 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 joy of rolling the fall damage as well. So d six on the way down. That's a five. So all together we got nine. Is there landing damage as well? <laughs> <laughs> so you so you 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 hit it and you open up like what looks like a like a seam in the back of its head sort yeah. of thing um and, and and it falls directly onto that seam as you can see down this uh all, all the way down there um and and it lands on it and its head sort of splits open into two but it's still sort of wandering around like the t1000 sort of thing you know like and um <laughs> nice. yeah so it's um but that took it took damage then so so you you've you've found the threshold right nine nine appears to do damage sure yeah um okay are there any like loose rocks loose steps anything else that that i could that groovex or yale could throw down to land on top of this thing that's that's what I'm actually asking. Yeah, you could probably you could probably find a loose a loose stone to uh, to throw down there. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like out of the walls sort <laughs> yeah, of thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like okay, you'd cool. probably like pull pull a brick out or something. Yeah, so I think Groovex is going to try and do that. That's a it would be a ranged attack, I guess. Um, yeah, make a straight agility roll. Nah. So. Um, he uh, finds something to, to pick up, like a you know, small, uh, some kind of foundation stone or, or building stone, um, mm -hmm. big enough that it would do some good damage, mm -hmm. and then manages to throw it down so it lands neatly on the step just beside this guy. Yep, doing some Probably good damage to that boop. step. <laughs> yeah. So it's perfectly placed. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And Yale will, I should think... Spotting that um, is it Brody who's being attacked, or is it by the leopards? Yeah, by the leopards. Yeah, is this thing that that has been conjured in the way? So, I I don't quite understand what the the result of that spell was, and I don't think Yale would have any clue because she's stupid anyway. But she's going to try and run in to help Brody, but and I don't know whether like that's an be invisible successful. force wall. Is that in between us and Brody? It's a shield-sized no. wall of force at the point within... Yeah, so it's between 
the knight that's standing next to the gap and the rest of the party. So if somebody okay. runs in to attack that knight, um, they're going to hit that wall of force first. Okay, that's fine, because I'm attacking one of the leopards. So, um, cool. Right, so in that case, Yale is going to run in with Battle Axe and attempt to uh, just swipe at one of these leopards' heads. And rolls turn uh, 12. Uh, 12 is a miss. Damn it. So it goes to swipe at the leopard, and the leopard kind of just ducks its head underneath uh, in a kind of very cat like way. Mm -hmm. kind of That's what they do. Up and... <laughs> yeah. yeah. It jumped as if it was a cucumber. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is a cucumber. Right. That's me done. Cool. Uh, so now they're going to have a crack. Uh, we will... Uh, the, the Panthers are going to have a go at... Um, it was Groovex that I went after him, right? Yep. Yep, so that's yes. a 10 against Groovex. Uh, oh, pa gonna... Panthers. No, sorry. Uh, that was Yale. Okay, 10 against Yale and 9 against uh, Brody with the Panthers. Um, the... Uh, a hit. The... Oh, which one's it? Uh, Yale. Okay, that's one damage. Um, the knight is going to start taking the stairs to get back up. Um, the thing that's going to use their whole action to be able to get round, and they're pretty close to the other side of the gap now. Um, the barbarian needs to run away, right? Yeah, so they, they go absolutely, like, running, like, Usain Bolt at the, at this, um at this gap and they just do this almighty leap and they leap over to the other side of the, um, the other gap and they land and then the stairs just give way. Um, and they go, they go flying down and the gap is a lot longer than seven feet now. Um, and they fall all the way down and the fall damage doesn't appear to, um, to do much to them. Um, so, yeah, well, they, they land flat on their back this uh, this time, Whoa. but it's uh, but nothing is uh, well. It's not it's the Panthers that's it's doing it; it's the Barbarian that's oh, doing sorry. this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so that's that. Um, now it is uh, Phil's turn. Um, right. So you got two. You got Brody with a Panther on them. You got yeah. Yale with a Panther on them at the back. Um, yeah. Downstairs. Oh no, sorry. Up the top of the uh, other side of the gap, you've got a knight. Just like standing there having watched the barbarian <laughs> jump across and now is trying to puzzle out at like a 20 feet gap um and uh and then you've got uh yeah and that's and that's it right you got the barbarian yeah. on the floor um 10 feet below okay so um brody's going to uh swing at the panther behind him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, he's going to go with his mace attack because he gets a plus one on that. Because mm -hmm. it's his chosen weapon. And he rolls a... Let's have a look. So I actually get a minus one on my melee attack, but a plus one for the staff, for the mace. So it's 17. 17 to hit, yep. Fantastic. Um, that's D6 worth of damage. Plus nothing. So that's two. Yeah, no, the the staff just yeah bounces off. Boom. Oh dear. So um Yarp, um I'm trying to think because Yarp was near the front, yeah. So So um, he would have had a barbarian go past <laughs> yeah, flying run, past him and then the jump over the edge. And yeah. so the knight but the knight's the other side of the force wall, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Um uh, uh yes. is is Yarp able to know that there's a force wall there? Yeah, I imagine it being like yeah, like, like a like translucent stimulate. sort of thing. I mean, Aaron, you might be able to correct me, but yeah, I mean, I'd imagine you'd sort of see it as like a sort of quivering, yeah, shimmering wall. Yeah, a little like a heat haze, but maybe a little bit more distinct. Okay, uh, and you would have not... seen Gem so... cast it anyway. Yeah, so Yarp's not going to go anywhere near that. So. Um... He's going to head back towards the leopards, mm -hmm. see if he can help her. But I don't know how crowded it is or what's going on there. 
Uh, no, yeah, you'll be able to make it up there and help yeah, out. Okay. Yeah, okay. In that case, he's going for uh, a staff and a shield bash. Let's have a look. And he's going to try and, he, mighty deed, he's going to try and push it off the uh, yeah. stairwell. Sure. Uh, it's rolled a one with his mighty deed, so that's not happening. Um, but his staff attack is. Oh, that's not happening either. That's a seven. Yeah, that nah, misses. And just a second, he gets a bash attack with his shield, which is the next dice down. And that's not happening either with a five or well, plus one six. Yeah, no. Nah. Never nah. mind. You had a good sure, it looked, sure, it looked flashy, but it didn't do a lot. It did uh, look flashy. Yeah, it did look flashy. <laughs> that's all that happened, I'm afraid. Very flashy. Is it? Is there anything else? Uh, you got any other characters? Uh, uh, yeah, I've got. Let's have a look. We've got Barbo. Yeah, you see, I don't know if he's. He's just such a little get fella. He's going to have a go with his uh, sling and stone and see if a stone versus stone makes a difference. So sure. he's got a sling. Um, he's got a roll of 18, so 16 on the dice, but plus two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Um, very good. And then it's a D4, and I get a plus two on that as well for melee damage, which is a two. So that's four points of damage with a little little pebble. Straight Where'd you get the pebble the... from? Um, it's just one of the stones. I carry a load of stones around with me. So not like one of the ones off the ground. It was a no, no, of... just one of my yeah. stones. I haven't picked anything up. All right. Yep. No. No. No damage then. A little clue, maybe. It was a what? Okay, that's it. I said a little clue, maybe. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Cool, Aaron. Don't worry, I'll save you, shouts Zeb. <laughs> and fires uh, yeah, a um, volley of uh, short bow arrows into into melee singing. again. These panthers tearing more of his adventuring just friends. Get out! Get out the way a bit. Just, uh, yeah, just duck <laughs> this time. And this time I remember he's actually a warrior, so he gets deep die. So he might ha might actually hit this time. <laughs> what do you want the deep die to do? Um, and hit one of the uh, hit one of the panthers. Not a character. Okay. <laughs> that, that's right. his deed. <laughs> gonna hit. Is that, is that unfortunately? <laughs> unfortunately, it's a one on the deed die and a five oh, on my d twenty. So in total, it's six. So it's eight. Okay. So roll under uh, under under a fifty on your percentile dice. I got exactly 50. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to let you have it because I can't be bothered working the math out right now. <laughs> just, yeah, sure, you miss. <laughs> Yay, misses. Um, Doesn't hit anybody. Um, yeah. The the girls tut at each other, uh, sort of tut at what's going on and roll their eyes and um, each, uh, each pull out a magic missile. To uh, to again fire at these uh, at these stone panthers. Um, Clammy goes first with a um, seventeen, eighteen, twenty one. <sighs> wow, that's going to be good. It's a one d four plus two missiles. So one d four plus two. So it's three five missiles, each doing. D six plus one, uh, five each doing six points of damage. So, what did we say? Oh. It was five missiles doing five, six points of damage, 30 points of damage from Clammy. Wow, okay. Um, does that do right. something? You're allowed to direct those based on what happens as well, aren't you? Like you, you it doesn't have to be like you don't have to pick. Uh, yes, each anyway. missile can be aimed at a separate target to which the yeah. caster has line of sight. The missiles never miss, though they may be blocked by certain magic. So of the um, what do we say it was five of the five missiles, um, three go off on one panther and uh, the other two go off on the other. So it's twelve points of damage on one. Uh, panther and what did we say three lots of six 18 points of damage on the other 
Okay. Uh, I, because because I would have let you, I mean, uh, I would have let you actually like apply them as you went. Um, and that may have that may have affected uh, your, your, your targeting, nah, um, nah, nah, if you will. Doesn't... So there's so two of them destroys one of them completely. Mm -hmm. um, so another two will destroy the other one completely, mm -hmm. and you have you have another another um, one that you can direct in any in any way that you please. And she flicks it uh, with her mind at um, the the bumbling knight that's trying to work out how to get over the gap. Oh, cool, man. cool. It, it means so, it, it's gone from sombre to uh, sombre to demoralised. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, the you 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 sort of you flick your your hands out and like a a lotus flower of um of magic missiles like appears in front of you and they all sort of spin in your in front of you and then you just flick them out like knives towards the uh, towards the panthers and they lodge in in the side of each of them. You throw another two into the other pant, and then arc lightning goes between each of the pieces, and then they just shatter into into all these different pieces. The third one goes down directly down the hole in the head of the knight, um, and uh, and yeah, and explodes that one as well. Um, th this 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 completely demoralizes the uh, the barbarian um, uh, one that that then you know basically gets itself up. And runs full pelt into the into the wall of the of the back, shattering itself. Um, <laughs> He's still trying uh, to run away yeah, from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the yeah, exactly. The the fear is intensified by all that, and yet yeah, it shatters itself against the back wall. So you're in amongst a whole heap of rubble of um, of these uh, these statues. Kitty, looks great right. big gap in front of you. Yeah. Well done, well done, yeah. <laughs> I'm in my cape. I think we were struggling then, so fantastic. I think, fire, we need to keep going. I think this fight has um, taken more time from us than we need. We, we only have eight hours to uh, regain to regain this black pearl for um, for this uh, wizard, the, this squirrel smoking wizard. So. Uh, <laughs> The man who's not named after a drink. So uh, <laughs> I, I believe we should um, get a move on. Cool. In which, in which move do you intend to on? <laughs> well, at the moment, there's still a shimmering wall blocking our route. Isn't <laughs> well, it was there for two. It says two rounds. It oh, was okay. two d6 my... rounds, and I rolled a d6, and it, so it came up as two. So, would we say that now no, that we're we'll out finish. of out of yeah. initiative, Gem can sort of dispel it? It's gone. It was part of the flourish that you did earlier. You know, you threw no. the last one, yeah. then you just went Foof, and closed <laughs> the uh, thing. Nice. Now we must onward. <laughs> yeah. Just a just chop, a chop. ten foot gap to do now. Uh, so I it's much it more, more like than a ten 20. foot gap. Yeah, yeah, it was a twenty foot How gap now. More? Twenty foot. Oh no. So when we look over the edge, like so, we're now inspecting the twenty foot gap. When you look over the edge, what's below? Uh, ten feet of air, and then ground and death. <laughs> no, it's it's oh, where it's foot. where the. That'll be fine. The, no one's ever died from a ten foot down. fall. Yeah, have you played DCC? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's it, it's ten feet because everything that was falling down there was taking one d six damage. So it's it's circa ten feet. Yeah, we got we got a rope. Did we bring it with us? Uh, yes, absolutely, hundred percent. <laughs> Grumex took it up the uh, took it up the side of the tower. Um, no, Grumex didn't use the rope. Oh, whoever it was that climbed up didn't use the rope. Uh, yeah, but you took the rope with you. Yeah, to help well, I wouldn't up, have just it? left it there. The name of the game, right, isn't yeah. who's got the fucking rope, right? <laughs> We've got the rope. Dungeon We've crawl rope. classics. Yeah, so we're going to yeah, pull got the rope. this dungeon <laughs> by magically pulling this rope out. <laughs> yeah. We wouldn't yeah. have left cool. the rope roll behind. Under, we're stupid, roll under but luck. We're not that yes, stupid. there you go. Achieved the roll under you're, luck. You're not lethally from, stupid. From you know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, it's all right. Cool. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's only it's only up a ladder if we need to go and get it. For God's sake. <laughs> 
Yeah. Right, so we're going to get the rope. We've got the rope. Folks, folks, the rope unfurls down. down the fucking 10 foot gap, all right? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what happens next. We shimmy down it. <laughs> yeah, all right, great. Right, great, next cool. level down. Oh, we're right. here. I can't believe it. <laughs> we, were so, we were so young when we started this. Um, <laughs> How did right, the party cool. die? Oh, they couldn't yeah. find a rope. So I've revealed the next uh, the next room there uh, on the VTT, and um, this chamber is dominated by two arches set against the walls of the room. There is a, a ru rubble uh, in the center, in between both those two arches that was formerly a uh, barbarian, um, <laughs> and uh, each of these arches. Um, they're they're car they got like carvings in the top of them. Um, don't worry, it's not made out of stone. It's made out of a dark mahogany bound in bronze, um, and each of the arches uh, resembles a snarling dragon. Well, that sounds friendly and not at all like something that would go horribly wrong. Mm, indeed. Um, so that's what you see on on a sort of. Uh, immediate inspection as, as you as you crawl down is there uh what would you like to do now okay eeny meeny miny mo anyone got a decision on which which one we take does anybody have a feeling does anybody want to check um i think that uh, yeah so Grivex will certainly have a look at that and see if there are any traps. Okay, sure. Um, so uh, yeah, you you have a have a roll. You want to which which thirteen? Um, which they both look basically the same. Um, so okay, so if you're looking at them, um, the there is a dra the dragon in the. Oh come on. Do, do the compass row, Zach. You can do this. You can do it. The one in the north east well um, has... You win a point of luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I will use it. Um, the, the, the one in the... the, one in the um, yeah, the north east. The, the, hang on. The, on the top right. Top right. Thank you. The one in the top right. It's got uh, pearl eyes set into the mm -hmm. set into the um the face of it the um the archway itself actually isn't like now that you're closer you thought maybe it was just like a really dark hallway turns out it's not it's like a um uh it's it's flat obsidian or where you would otherwise walk like it's a solid mm -hmm. wall oh um, you are walking across the room as well. Um, you you're able to notice that there's there's an enormous eldritch sigil uh, that is etched into the stone floor, and there's smaller sigils in front of each of the archways. The larger sigil divides the room in half, as you can see on the on the floor there. Can Jem inspect the sigils to see if she recognizes them at all, or has any kind of inkling as to what they are? Yeah, cool. Go ahead and make an <laughs> intelligence check. Um, Yarp says, uh, oh, just a second. 13. Yep, 13. So, so you look at them, you don't, you don't immediately recognize the sigils themselves. Um, they don't look like the ones that you traced above. I was going to say, Yarp says, just a yeah. second. I've got, I've got the finger that can do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where the signal is. Sigil is, I'll do it. So, there's yeah. nowhere for him to trace his finger in. So you, you go up and you start tracing your finger and when you bring it back up, you see it sort of glistening in the light and as you bring it closer, you realize, oh, you were standing in front of the one with the pearl eyes. Um, you like, there's there's blood on the floor here. There was maybe like a like a fight taking in place here or is, I don't know, but it's fresh blood and it's pulled under the uh, under the archway on, this, on the top uh, right. Fresh blood come underneath this. It's like all over the floor, look. Here. Yeah. Um, well, it looks like it's the only way to go because the other archway looks like a solid wall. Well, this one looks uh, like a solid wall. They're both, so if you, they're both solid if, walls. Okay, okay, I misunderstood. 
if you've been inspecting mm -hmm. the other one at, at the same time, um, mm -hmm. you notice you, coming over to this one, you're like, wait, there's pearls in the eyes of this one. In the other one, there was no, there's no eyes at all. As in, like, there is eye sockets, but there's no eyes. Ooh. In that one. Oh, mm. maybe we need to steal the steal the pearls from the eye sockets in order to open. Oh, let's oh. not mess about with eyes again. <laughs> out last time. This party in particular has learnt that lesson. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. Je Jem is is drawn to the idea of trying to chisel not again, the pearls Jem. out of the eyes. Don't do it, Jem. You ruined every art exhibition I went to for a week. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> okay, so do you want, well, if yeah. you want to do it, then you can you can go ahead and uh, make an agility check. We'll make it a DC eight to try and chisel these things out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going for it. She gets ten. Is. Cool. <laughs> yep. She man she manages to pull the pull the eyes out. You notice as you're pulling them out, there's like um there's like bronze claws sort of like holding the the um the the pearls in place and the the tips of the claws um are are painted um like white, like the same colour as the pearl. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. How big are they? Uh they're uh, a bit smaller than this. Like a like oh. a satsuma oh. size. Oh my word. Nice, nice good size. Oh she picks oh these are good. Mm. Um sticks both of them in her pockets. I, I okay. thought we were gonna try and put them in the other one. Oh yes. Yes, yes of course. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. And we'll and try tries to attempts to like sort of oh put them in the eye sockets. Oh no, they don't fit. Oh dear, then I'll just have to hold on to them then. Do they, they not they fit? Are, they actually Do don't they fit. fit. They're not the they they're not the right size. Um you also <laughs> notice that the there's claws in this one and the ends of the nails are painted red. Ooh. These claws are red. It looks like we not might need like red balls red pearls to go in that one um yeah i'll hold on to these what if we paint them, Put them into a have you got any paint on you well, we could probably find some blood somewhere that i mean that's the right color <laughs> so um when you okay. when you did the sigil in front of the uh one without the eyes and got the blood yeah what happens mm. if he does the sigil in front of the one where the pearl eyes used to be so this is me being a bad judge. You didn't the sigil didn't bleed when you did it. There was already blood on the floor. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah, you yeah. just ran your yeah, fingers yeah. in. No, it. No, yeah, I, I yeah, knew that. Yeah. I just meant, yeah. yeah. That was my oh, right, right, okay. Okay, okay. Right, so right, right. What what happens if I um do the sigil in front of the uh the one that used to have pearl eyes? Yeah, no no effect. Okay. No effect. Okay, so there's clearly been action over the other one, regardless of what's happened to the pearl eyes. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how on earth we get through a solid obsidian door. What if we take one of the... She takes pearl out of her pocket again. Oh, fine. And she sort of rolls <laughs> it around along the sigil to pick up the blood and then uh, tries to put it in the socket with the red painted claws. Yeah, it still doesn't fit. It's it's not a matter. It's it's like the shape is not right. Like yeah, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. But does the blood? There being blood now, trying to be poked into the socket. Does that help at all? Does um, it act, yeah. It it has the it has the effect that the eye sockets that you're trying to put them in are now slightly bloody. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Other than that, oh, there no, we go. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't that. work. I shall hold on to them. She wipes it off on the bottom of the, her robe and tucks them back into her pockets. <laughs> okay, so... Um, uh, let's have a look. So Barbo, who's my halfling, mm -hmm. is going to go and have a look and like check around the obsidian. I mean, assuming it's like, it's like a doorway. Does it have like a fixing or a keyhole or hinges it's or... It's got the out the outer adornments are sort of like it's a doorway, but the like inset into it is just solid obsidian. God, it's like, God, it's like it should be a doorway, but it's like filled in with obsidian. Yeah. yeah. 
Anybody well, got any idea? And, what if you try and draw the sigil onto the obsidian wall? Uh, okay. Uh, Yarp? I have the finger for this. He's got the magic finger. <laughs> okay. Make a... Make a um... Make a reflex save for me. Okay. Um, I rolled a 16. What would I put that against? My agility, I guess? So you should have saves written on your thing. It's a reflex save. Oh, is that what the ref stands for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, ref saves a 15 and I rolled a 16. Okay. All right. So um, what happens is you go to start doing the sigil and all that kind of stuff and you notice it, but you not quite enough to react. There's like a, there's like a lip sort of thing um, coming out of the, uh, like it's, it's an imperfection in the obsidian, right? And you run across it and you know what obsidian's like, right? It's yeah. sharp as heck sort of thing. So you slice your, your, your finger open, you take one point of hit, uh, one hit point uh, of damage and some blood drops onto the sigil below you. Now you're, you're trying to do the pearl thing, aren't you? The pearl one? Is that yeah. the one that you were trying to do? Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, no, um, yeah. No, actually, I think I'm at the one where all the blood is. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the one. That, that's, that. that's the pearl one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the pearl one. So you, um, the, the the your blood drops onto the onto the sigil, and the eyes of the dragon sort of they flash a light, and then they spark, and then you, you kind of hear like, and the and smoke starts coming out the eyes, um, and and nothing happens. Oh. So it almost yeah. did something. It, it reacted to my uh, spilt blood. Mm -hmm. Do we need to so, spill some more of your blood? Not necessarily mine. Caboose? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll let you do it to Bruce if you want. <laughs> no! No, just a second. Brody's not going to have that. We can't. <laughs> Yeah, he's not our. He's Bruce, not our, hear, yeah, hearing, uh, hearing he's not our human leech. what's being discussed. <laughs> We're not bringing him along. Turns just to bring him runs. for our pleasure. <laughs> no, uh, so uh, Yarp is willing to um, squeeze the. You know where he's cut his finger. He's mm. going to do that thing where you squeeze it and get a bit more blood out. Okay. Yeah. You're going to take another hit point of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We're going to squeeze a bit more blood out. We're going to. Cool. Try and you go ahead. Well, again. You go ahead and do that, and the same thing happens. Um, was it um, was it Jem that was holding the the pearls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you, you notice that they warm up. Ooh. Well, that's fun. These but, but other but other than that, it kind of as I say, the dragon, the light comes out, a few sparks, and then and, the, and smoke comes out the eyes. Do we need to? Um... Do we need to coordinate my blood loss with, you know, trying to put those pearls in the eyes? Fine. She takes the pearls, puts the pearls back in the eye sockets. Go on, then. Oh, I can't believe it. Right. You know what it's like? A paper cut in your finger is stinging like anything. So my throbbing finger, I will squeeze out some more blood at the end. Uh... Are you ready? Let's do it this time. And I'll do the sigil one more time. And you, Jem, put those pearls Fine. in the eye. She sort of put them back in. Fine. So you take you take another hit point of damage and yeah. the light comes out <laughs> of the eyes and the, it shines through the pearls and you hear... And, and the light out of the eyes burns brilliantly and the obsidian begins to shimmer and shake it's still just as dark as if it's sucking in the light that's coming out of the eyes but it's now it's now moving and and shimmering and so forth and you've got this deep black um sort of void in the uh, shimmering void in between the where the dragon uh, stands over Ooh. well yark with a throbbing finger takes a step forward to the obsidian Yep. And he sees what happens if he moves towards it. Okay, yep. 
Uh, there's no, it doesn't doesn't necessarily do anything. No, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm I'm like imagining I'm like walking through the obsidian. Let's go for it. Yep. Am I going to bash my face? No, you 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 put your hand through and it goes up to your up to your shoulder and then you sort of like walk through yeah. and everyone yeah, sees him sort of pass through into the blackness and everyone is left in this room in silence. Well, I guess we're going that way then. Yeah. Okay. Tally-o. So everyone's following through. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, you all, you all, you all reckless. Yeah. <laughs> you all recklessly follow him into oblivion, um, but, but you, um, you you do you do come out you do come out the other side. Um, you uh, you find yourself um, in a room uh, that kind of looks like this on the VTT. Mm. You see that. Oh. You stand. You, you sit, so you're standing on that. That's that. That's a sigil that you're standing on there. Um, and as you as you walk into this room, you hear, uh, "Right, oh, that there they are. Get them." Oh, and that's uh, and that, that's where we'll leave it this time. Oh. <laughs> I told you we weren't alone. Nah, la. <laughs> oh. Sounds like we finally caught up with the pirates. Yep. I mean, that's good because we need a new boat. That well, was, that was really upstairs. Cool. If, you, if you were just adventuring for a boat, you could have just made it a very short adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm tied up. We didn't. Well, we don't have the key. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get the key, right? They, they, they've taken the uh, the steering wheel with them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's on the back of, of the, uh, the the kind of the, the captain or something. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Obviously, without that, we can't go, go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing thank you judge fact as always uh thank you to erin and also to phil hope you've enjoyed the show as much as we have if you have please smash that like and stamp on that subscribe <laughs> and come and talk to us on discord if you're watching on youtube then the link will be down below um we'll be back as soon as we can uh, for the next thrilling installment of the Tower of the Blackpool, Blackpool, Tower of Blackpool, <laughs> Tower of Blackpool. That's where that's where it keeps from. <laughs> it explains a lot. Um, there is a tower in Blackpool, isn't it? it's there not is. quite as fun as there this is. one. So we'll be back with the Tower of the Black Pearl as soon as we can. Check out the previous uh, stories for for the Farg Saga, the Farga, and uh, we'll. See you in Discord and around. Meantime, hope your dice rolls are way better than mine. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Take care, everyone. Great to see you. Ciao, ciao.